Welcome back to Chris Can Cook. Today we're going to be making my self-proclaimed world famous chocolate chip cookies. I've been working on this recipe for quite some time now. I've got it down to perfection. So why don't you sit on back, relax, and enjoy the show. And after that, you enjoy yourself a dang good cookie. The ingredients you're going to need this evening are three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two sticks of unsalted butter, one large egg, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two and a quarter cups of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of salt, and two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, to start out, we're gonna to need to preheat our oven to 375 degrees, which we've already done, and it's hot and ready to go. First, we're gonna add our sugar to the bowl. Then we'll add our butter. Notice these cute little sticks. You need four of these or two regular sticks of butter. And with your butter, you don't want it melting. You just want it room temperature. Um, if it's melting, you're, when you bake your cookies, they're gonna flatten out. So you want it just room temperature softened just so you can get the butter and sugar to cream together nicely. So you're going to start creaming your butter and sugar. At this point, I'm going to turn it on a little bit higher, just so we get some nice air incorporated into the cookie dough. Nice and creamy. And you'll know when you're there, because you can see how the whisks leave their mark in the bottom. We're going to add one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, a little bit extra is good, just a little bit, one and a quarter teaspoons. Now you want to incorporate your egg and vanilla into the uh, sugar butter mixture. Make sure you get the sides and get everything incorporated really well. And you notice the batter, how it stands up. If your butter was too soft, it would be flat looking. So you want it to stand up so that when you bake your cookies, they're gonna stand up. Flour. Like I said, this is self-rising flour. I like to use self-rising flour in my cookies because it has all the leavening agents in it that you need. Less stuff to measure cleaner, easier to work with, and I think the product, the end product is better. So that's two and a quarter cups. A generous teaspoon of salt. And now I just kinda don't go into the batter part, just mix the flour and salt together on top, and then you work your way down in. That way your salt gets nice and distributed throughout the cookies nice and evenly. And at this point, you can see it's going to start to turn to like peas, crumble kind of consistency. And it's going to come together here in just one second, and it'll be a nice dough. See, now we're getting to that dough point. Make sure you get the sides. That's where you want to be. And then we'll clean off your whisks. You just turn it on and let it fly. All right, at this point, we're going to add our chocolate chips. This is the fun part. And then you're just gonna fold that together, your dough and your chips. So they're just nice and uniformly incorporated into the dough. I have a, just a nice ice cream scoop to use so you get nice uniform cookies. And then just do them nice and level so they're all the same. You wanna make sure they're nice and evenly distributed so that when they bake, they don't melt into each other. We've got our cookies all scooped now. It yields about two dozen cookies. Um, and it's time to get them in our preheated oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees. Just gonna let them cook 11 minutes. Do not peak, let them cook. They'll get nice and caramelized on the bottom. And on the top will be light golden brown. Dang, they're gonna be awesome. There's the timer. Our cookies are ready. It's been 11 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get them out and we're gonna let them rest on the cookie trays for 
a few minutes just to cool off. And one thing about these cookies, the favorite way for me to eat them, the creative way of eating these, is I take and put them in a Ziploc bag and I pop them in the freezer and you eat them frozen. They are delicious. They're like chewy and crunchy on the outside and chewy and gooey in the middle. They're awesome. Our cookies have been resting two or three minutes, so they're ready to be transferred to wire racks to finish cooling. As you can see right here, this is a perfect cookie. This cookie right here, you see how it's flat? This was the last cookie that I scooped out. You see, it doesn't have a lot of chocolate chips in it, so it flattened out. Um, that doesn't make this a bad cookie though. It's still delicious. Dang, those are good cookies. World famous, baby.